Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. We appreciate you tuning in. Yeah, and as you just have seen, we've gone through a little bit of a transition as it relates to RVing, and we wanted to provide an update to our family and friends of our channel. And that update is, we traded in the Tiffin Motor Home and purchased a Grand Design Momentum toy hauler. So we thought we'd do a little video on the RV so as not to confuse you when you see us camping in something different. Yeah, and there are several reasons for the change. I think the biggest is, you know, at this stage of our life, we felt for us yep. that a toy hauler would provide, you know, more options that we can carry more of our toys, our kayaks, our paddle boards, our motorcycles, and still have a vehicle to drive when you got to the RV park. Yep. Additionally, the model that we purchased has two separate bedrooms. One doubles as a garage, but it works as well as two full baths, and of course, we love the patio, which is what we're filming on right now. Yeah. And we have to give some credit to some great YouTubers, Chad and Tara, of Changing Lanes. They helped us make the decision. You can check out their YouTube channel in a link down below. They have some great, great content. So let's take a quick look at the new rig, and let's start outside. So this is the 2019 Grand Design Momentum. It's a 397 model with full body paint. It's 43 feet long and weighs right at 16,000 pounds unloaded. See, that's a one-piece fiberglass nose cap that's on here. It has LEDs embedded in it, and the LED kit also runs up underneath it. Uh, looks pretty cool at nighttime. Up under here is the storage, as well as the generators. 5,500 Cummins owning generator. Uh, to help power the rig and then here is a battery you can actually only comes with one battery but you can actually put about six batteries in there uh, right now i'm just using it for some additional storage as well and here is your uh, hydraulic system uh, fluid for the jacks and the slides so that's uh that's what's here in the front pretty cool it's pre-wired for solar so you can help charge your batteries that you may purchase or even the one we've got if you want to hook a solar into it that's pretty nice. All right, come on, rent. It's got a six jack leveling system. It's got uh, two in the front, which operate as your landing gear, two in the middle, and then two in the very rear. It's got two 30 pound uh, propane tanks, one on this side and one on the other side. Okay, this rig here has a complete pass through storage area. A lot of storage area here, and you can see it's still kind of a wreck because we're still transitioning really from the Tiffin to this. But you can see it it's all the way through and uh, plenty, plenty of storage area right there. Okay, here you have some outlets here. And this is a water port where you can actually hook a water hose up. And on the side of this momentum, there's three awnings. Here on the main piece, this is 14 foot. Here on the slide, and this awning is actually attached to the slide. This is a 10 foot awning. And in the back over the garage, that's going to be a 12 foot awning. So plenty of uh, spaces to sit up, uh, up underneath. Again, more frameless windows here, which I really like. And this right here is our outdoor entertainment system. Uh, you got speakers, of course. This is connected to the stereo on the inside, but you got a TV and your speakers out here if you want to enjoy something outside here. All right, here's some more of the uh, jacks that we were talking about. You can see here, this is a triple axle. This is the door to the garage. And this right here are vents, by the way. You can open those on the inside as you're traveling so that if you have motorcycles in there or ATVs, whatever you have, uh, gas, it helps keep the gas smell out. And this is the patio area. And this door actually lets down to a ramp, which is how we get our motorcycles up on there. And that's how we get the kayaks up in there. So pretty, pretty nice. Come walk around with me, Clay. Oh, by the way, this one has the awning as well. So this rig actually has four awnings on it. Now to the service side, if you will. So come on over here with me, let me show you this. This is the exterior ladder. It's what gives me access to the roof. It just pulls out and uh, does fine there. Let me show you this little neat little thing. This is another thing we like about the toy hauler. So this bad boy right here has two gas tanks, two 30 gallon gas tank. The front tank operates the generator. This tank can operate the generator if you run out here, but it's also a good tank to fill up your toys, your motorcycles, ATVs, whatever it might be. So that's really a nice, nice feature. It has two bathrooms in it, has two black tanks, two gray tanks. 
and this is where you empty the rear bathroom. This is where you empty that tank, right there. And this is actually a black tank flush for the rear bathroom. Right here is your hot water heater, the furnace. Here's our 36 foot cord for 50 amp. And this is your wet bay. Come let me show you this, this is pretty cool. So here in the wet bay, you have a full house filtration. You have the pool for one black tank. The other black tank is back there where you pull it. I didn't show you, but it's back there. And then you have two gray tanks that you pull. So one black tank, two gray tanks. First of all, this is your shower, outside shower, cable, satellite hookups. This is the, the Nautilus system though. And all you have to do here is, whatever it is you're wanting to do, if you want to use seed water like we're on now, you just turn all these knobs accordingly. If you want to, when it's time to winterize, you turn them like you see here. Um, to fill the tank, even if you dry camp, if we connect to the city water. This is a black tank flush for the front bathroom. This is where you level this bad boy. So once you get it off the truck, uh, you can hit this auto level. Man, it does a great job. So far, it's working great. And now, let's take a look at the inside. So when we come inside, the first thing we see through the main door is hard top counter space. And as you can see, it's a lot of storage space. And what I use this for is like pots, pans, you know, spoons, tablecloths, you name it. And right above that is some more cupboard space that we use for dishes and cups and glasses and, um, you know, any type of eating tools. And this one actually is not storage space. This is where we have the stereo, where we control the stereo at. Then we move over to our 18 cubic foot double door refrigerator. So we have the regular refrigerator and then you have the freezer. Next to that, we have some more counter space and some more storage. This thing has a lot of storage space, by the way. We have, um, one of my favorite is a gas st uh, stove and we have an actual oven, which I absolutely love because I love baking. At the bottom of that is some more storage space for, you know, um, putts and pans and any type of baking utensils. Again, more storage space as at the top of that. And we do have a convection microwave um, over that as well. So a lot of area to cook. Um, next up is, this is like one of my favorite things in here is the pantry. So we have a um, five shelf pantry. And as you can see, it's fully stocked because we have a lot of things to put in there. Um, more storage space at the top for paper towels and whatever you want to put in there. So let's move over to the island. Um, the island also serves as a sink area, a 70 30 sink area. And when we're not using it as a sink, we use it as um, more counter space, more countertop space. On this side of the island, again, we have more storage space, just lots and lots of storage space. More storage space. And then we have a pull-out faucet over the sink. And on the other side of the island, we have two stools so sometimes we will sit here and eat when we're not sitting at the dining table to eat over to the dining area you know before we had like a dinette what i love about this is that you can move these chairs and you know gear it to however you want to sit here and as you can see daryl and i use this as you know a workstation sometimes so um again window a large windows with a lot of light coming in and the lighting, look at the LED lights above, all around the kitchen, by the way. Okay. Then we'll come to our seating. These are theater style chairs. And these pull out like that. And you have these tray tables that actually pulls out very easily and you have options for massage, heat, you know, when it's cold and lighting for, you know, if you have something here drinking at nighttime and you're watching TV. So 
from the seating area we move over to the fireplace. It's an electric fireplace that also serves as a heater. And right on top of that we have um, the TV and you know on top of that is more storage. As you can see we don't have anything in, yet, in here yet because we again just started using this rig so this is brand new but I assume we're we'll gonna be putting a bunch of these in here. All right, then the next thing is we have, we're using this as storage for now, but it's a bunk bed and there's a ladder that comes down here. So when we have overflow, this is where they will sleep. So now let's go up to the master bedroom. Oh, by the way, before we do that, let's talk about our panel right here. So this is the one control panel and what this does, this controls everything in this RV. So it controls the RV, the awning, the generator, the HVAC, leveling, lighting, monitor panel, slides. This is a, for, you know, for a whole nother video, but just wanted to show that to you since we're on the way up here. Before we go into the bedroom, I wanted to show you the bathroom really quickly. So the bathroom, again, it's a little smaller than what we had um, in the Tiffin, but I absolutely love the bathtub area because it's bigger and it's sunken and I absolutely love that. Um, more storage right here. This is where we put our towels and hand towels and so on and so forth. Um, more storage at the bottom of the sink. And we have the over sink storage area. And this is the master bedroom. So king size bed, windows over the bed, and we do have above head lighting on each side of the bed. Closet is actually bigger than what we did have and a lot of closet space. So as you can see, Darlin, I shared this closet space, but behind that, what I love about this is behind that is more space that we can put our shoes, more clothes, and so on. Then right next to that, this is a washer dryer hookup. And again, this is new for us. We have not put in a washer dryer hookup as yet. So what we use it as is a place just to hang our towels and um, you know our dirty clothes and other storage. Then we have a dresser that of course have our clothes in there and we have another window above the dresser and a TV. And on this side, again, more storage space, you know, again, as you can see, of course, we cannot forget our beloved hitchhikers, Mickey and Minnie. Yeah. Okay, so very quickly, I'm gonna show you uh, one, one of my favorite parts of the RV and that's the uh, garage out here where we put our toys. So come on out, let's take a look at this right quick. All right, so this is the garage. And just so you know, uh, this table comes up. So here's what it looks like without the table. So that's what it looks like there, made out into a bed. And then when you want to raise it to put all your toys in, Okay, I apologize for the lighting here, but uh, I'm gonna show you now how to lift the bed down. This bed here, which is where I store the table on top of it anyway, so I'm gonna give you a quick demonstration. But if you look over here, you got four pins that you have to, yeah, I don't know if you can see those pins. See that, that pin right there? That pin, I got four of those that I'm gonna release now, and then we'll let the whole thing back down again. Now we're gonna let the whole system back down. And you see there, or you will see in just a moment, how the bed comes down as well. So the bed is stopped, and the couch will come on down now, just about as low as you want it, and then you can uh, sleep down there as well if you want. So. All right, so we'll stop it there. And you can see right here, All 
right, so it's all the way up now. Now we just reinstall the pins. So now you see all the room you have to bring your motorcycles, kayaks, side-by-sides, whatever you've got. Any toys you want, just about, you can bring. Oh, and that right there is a roll of carpet that you can actually put carpet back here and make it maybe look more like a bedroom versus a garage. And we have guests and what have you, and they come see us. They actually have their own little restroom. And it's, it's small, it's kind of tight, but it works. That's a porcelain toilet. You see the little shower? They have their own sink right there. Yeah. And they right here's the storage area for the linen and what have you that they might need. So it works. Got a fantastic fan in there. And another good thing I like about this uh, is that guests have their own restroom, but they also have their own door to get in and out of the RV. So right here, for example, is the rear door to the, to the garage, and they have their own exit. And if somebody gets up in the, late at night or whatever and go walk a dog or something, they don't wake up the whole RV because we're, you know, some 40 feet in front. Another thing that we love about this RV is we sort of have our own little patio back here if, it's, if you've got some uh, conditions that you don't want to sit outside on the ground. So we can sit back here and just relax. Very, very nice. We just, so far we really are enjoying this, this uh, momentum. What we purchased to pull this beast with is a Ford F-350 Dually 4x4. And we've been very happy with how this thing has pulled so far. I mean, it has just done a great, great, great job. I've never owned a diesel before, but this is a 6.7 liter power stroke diesel turbo diesel it's an XL with the STX package and man we've been very very happy with this thing so far well that concludes the tour of our new 2019 momentum by grand design we hope you enjoyed it listen we plan to bring you many more videos uh, using this as our base count in the near future so thanks for joining us as always we appreciate you watching until, until next time, time be, be well, well and stay, stay safe, safe.